While talking with the couple, I asked them three questions about their relationship. Why are they the love of your life? What have they taught you? And what can you promise them? Trevor and Julie wanted me to share their answers with one another. <laughs> Why are they the love of your life? Trevor, you are first and foremost her best friend. From the day that you met in Harrington Hall freshman year, she knew you would be in her life forever. No matter the circumstance, you will do just about anything to make her crack a smile. You can read her mind and her face like a book and often know her next move before she does. Your youthful soul, your kind heart, and your infectious smile make it so easy to love you. There is truly no one else that she would want to spend the rest of her days with. He thinks you are the most compassionate, selfless, and loyal person he has ever known. You never put yourself before the people and puppies you love. Trevor is always comforted by your presence alone and even on the worst days that you can make all of his troubles fade away with a smile and a hug. Question, what have they taught you? Trevor, you have shown her how to be a better person with each passing day. The love and compassion you have for everyone in your life knows no bounds. Your don't worry baby attitude helps balance her as some would call chaotic energy. The way that you look at her with such patience and compassion has taught her how to love without judgment. You have taught her to say I love you as often as you can. Those are the first words she hears as she wakes up and the last words she hears as she goes to bed. She is reminded daily of how incredibly lucky she is that her days are filled with your love. Julie, you have taught Trevor to not put up with any crap. <laughs> You've shown him how to make a leap to an unfamiliar place, knowing that you will overcome anything a new home has thrown at you. You've taught him that it's possible to have an entire conversation with a single look and that it's possible to have a connection so strong that they can always seem to know exactly how the other is feeling without a word. But most importantly, you have shown him how unconditional love feels and how to love someone eternally and completely. And finally, what can you promise them? Julie promises to continue to grow alongside of you, but to never grow up. She promises to never stop holding your hand and to truly enjoy every moment of this life with you. She promises that you will be forever her person, her love, her life, always. Julie, he promises to support, encourage, and respect you every day and to work hard to make sure that you are happy and successful at everything you do. He promises to understand your feelings, all of your hopes and dreams, and to not rest until he helps to make them a reality. Finally, he promises that he will always prioritize making the love between you exciting, full of new experiences and adventures, and to never let your love grow stagnant. Trevor is the, of the halls, the considerate one, the intelligent one, the cool and collected one funny one and he like me has been obsessive in his passions in life and to all those things he brings attention thoughtfulness and empathy that empathy for other beings whether they're animals or people is something that's going to serve 
you very well in your marriage. And it's something that we all should learn from and try to embody more in our own public life. Well, that literally flew in my mouth. <laughs> he's like, don't do that. Stop doing that. He's like, do anything but wait, please. 2021 has been a hard year for many, and I've had my fair sort. I've hit my fair share of speed bumps, but being here to celebrate you too is such a treasure. So here's to the two of you. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness. And for the two of you together, we'll include raising Ash, hosting future dinner parties and holidays, and a whole lot of love of laughter. Here's to my best friend, Julie, and her new official best friend, Trevor. What do I think about this day? Long time coming, but Julie and Trevor, you deserve a great day today. You're, uh, we are so happy, your mom and, uh, and I, uh, just the two of you found yourself, found each other. Um, I just hope the, the weather holds for you and you get the day you want, but uh, it's not really about the weather, it's about you and Trevor and everything we've seen you do together. <laughs> So our, our love uh, and for your health and happiness, and uh, we wish you the best. Just keep smiling. Awesome. Okay. Trevor. Do you take Julie to be your wife? Do you promise to love her, honor her, cherish her, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only unto her forevermore? I do. And Julie, do you take Trevor to be your husband? Do you promise to love him, honor him, cherish him, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only unto him forevermore? Trevor and Julie will now exchange rings as a symbol of love and commitment to one another. Your wedding ring is a circle, a symbol of ceaseless love. It is the seal of the vows you have just taken to love each other without end. Trevor, please place the ring on Julie's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love, as a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And Julie, please place the ring on Trevor's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else, above all else, with this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. To make your relationship work, will take love, laughter, and some hard work. It will take trust to know that in your hearts you truly want what is best for one another. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and learn to grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you have both pledged today. invested in me by the state of North Carolina, it is my honor and my privilege to declare you husband and wife. You may now seal this union with a kiss.
I am honored and overjoyed to present to you all for the first time the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Hall. I could go on and on and talk to you all about Julie, our Julie, and all of the things and how she's blessed us. And I could go on and on and on about how happy we are to have met Trevor and gotten to know him and his family and shared so many good times so far. We could go on and on and on and talk about how happy we are that Julie and Trevor have decided to get together and share their life together. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go on and on because, of course, this is just a welcome talk. <laughs> 